Yeah. Most of those guys call Seattle home. We got a really deep pool of marine resources here. It's also fresh water, which is much easier on the boats, right, than salt water. So it's, once in a while you see the Northwestern, the Cornelia Marine. I just saw the Time Bandit a couple weeks ago, cruising around through here. Here's another way you can live on the water. That's actually technically a boat. You see the outboard engines? On the bottom left hand side, there's a steering wheel in the front back there. That's what's called a houseboat. It's a little different than a floating home. Uh, because houseboats are long and narrow. They're designed to fit in a boat slip, like in a marina. Right? They actually do have engines. And they have a boat title. They get boat tabs from the state every year. The big advantage of a houseboat versus a floating home, you see floating homes on the other side. We'll get closer later on. I'll tell you about floating homes. Uh, floating homes pay property taxes, actually. Houseboats do not. So that's the big difference there. The floating homes, they're hooked up to all the city utilities, sewer, electrical power. Uh, houseboats and liveaboards, those are people, if you just live on your boat, you can hook up to water and electrical in the marina, but you have to use your holding tank for your sewage, right? And get it pumped out occasionally. There's actually several services on the lake that are called pump out boats. And then you come to your boat, like on a weekly or monthly schedule, and pump you out so you don't have to go anywhere. And they'll take care of you. So we'll cruise around the lake here. Let's get some boating views going on for us. I'll tell you about Gasworks Park here in just a minute. Let's see how it's the Park. Right here. Yeah. If I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean. And if I had a pony, I'd ride it on my boat. We could all go, go out on the ocean. over time so you have to replace them or 